there are numerous benefits to classroom circles, including opportunities for students to express themselves in meaningful ways and opportunities for students to have successes celebrated and they met those successes occur. And the benefits of using circles is to let me know how my students feel so I can address some of those feelings that they have. Who do you think is the happiest person that you know? What do you think makes them so happy? My students love asking me for their questions. My morning gets kind of busy and I start doing attendance and I start collecting homework. You start hearing the kids, are we gonna do our questions? We're we gonna do our questions. And they get to know each other. We mix up kids, we mix up groups, we mix up, uh, sometimes we do big circles and they, uh, they get excited. Um, they, they like the questions because they can be silly and sometimes they can be serious. And so um, it allows them to do something different, something different than the norm. It's good for them. It's good for them to get to know each other. It's good for me to get to know them. And I want to say it's been unbelievably successful. And I think it's one of the best parts of my teaching, actually. First time I did a classroom circle, I was scared because I didn't. I thought people were going to laugh at me. But they were more sure about it and stuff, and they listened to me, and I listened to them. One thing I think about classroom circles are that they are good for the students where they could learn more about the teachers and the teachers can learn more about them. I think the benefit is for the kiddos to really be able to express themselves and for me as a teacher to know how they're feeling because then I'm able to um, just give that a uh, little bit of extra in understanding them for that day because I already know that they weren't feeling good or I already know that they were having a bad day because of something that's happened at home before they got here and so then I'm able to really address that as a teacher just throughout that day and then also I, the benefit is for the kids to be really um, a team and a family and they're helping each other. What I like about morning meetings is that we get to give compliments and get compliments. The circles help me build communities because it lets the kids um, come into contact with students that they've never would before. I think it would benefit teachers in the regular classroom because it gives them an opportunity to, um, to know their students one-on-one. -on -one. And it also builds a community within itself in your room. <laughs> I started classroom meetings to get to know my students better. And the more you know your students, the better you can relate to them, the better that they feel respected and they respect you. And then you just open the door to all the learning that can take place in your classroom. Definitely creates um, like a family environment. You have students that will stick up for each other, um, go out of their way to do nice things for each other. They give each other compliments. They, um, they say thank you. Benefits that I've seen from doing the small circles in my classroom is that it really builds um, a sense of community with the kids and they really start to care about each other and um, do things for one another and just under understand how one another is feeling and just pay attention to that and help each other. Now, let's think of an act of kindness we can do for someone else. So I'll give you thinking time again. Show me your thinking. Here's a sentence frame you can use. Today, I will, mm. so for example, today I will give Clemente a high five at recess. The advice that I would give for teachers wanting to try circles would be um, just do it. You know, just jump in and try it and just have different things that you're going to talk about maybe each day or each week and just kind of mix it up so that it's not the same thing all the time. The students aren't, um, Get, maybe getting bored of the same thing, so just mix it up. I would say teachers should simply begin the process. I don't know that there is a perfect opportunity to begin. I think teachers could actually begin tomorrow, beginning with the process of just get, getting students in a configuration that allows them to converse freely and honestly, and uh, with the idea that norms are going to be established so that students can have a safe place to, to share. I would tell teachers just to put your students in a circle and just start talking to them. You can develop rules as you go with the students while you're sitting there building those relationships with them and that'll actually help make it a little bit more meaningful to them instead of you just telling them what the rules are. Just put your students in a circle and get going. It really will make a difference. 
The advice that I would give teachers is to do this. This is so fun. This is this is something that I think people have been craving for, the students and the teachers. Um, sometimes there's behavior problems in class, and part of that is that we don't know what's going on in our children's lives. They're going through so many things. Sometimes they just need to laugh. Sometimes they just need to talk to somebody, even if it's just a five minute conversation with their peers about silly questions, fun questions, serious questions. These questions open the doors to building that relationship that we need with our students. You get to build those relationships that are so desperately needed. And then it helps in your classrooms. It helps um, when you have to correct them maybe throughout the day there. They know you better now, you know them better now. And it just it's it's an it's it's been the best thing for my class and they love it.